Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ala. Today I wanted to do a video comparing two different hourglass bronzers. One is the nude bronze light that looks like this. And the other one is new because I wanted to search for the right color and shade for olive skin tone. So I went in the store and got a professional to recommend what would look best on my olive skin complexion and she recommended this neutral one so I wanted to compare the two and before I did that then I wanted to do a quick full face of makeup and then we will get to the bronzers. I will start my base with this SPF by Beauty of Joseon. Still working my way through. These tubes sure last a long time, even as I'm using them almost daily. Pretty impressive that it's not gone yet. I'm going to keep the base pretty light and fresh. I'm just going to put my hair up so it's out of the way. Moving on to concealer, I'm just dabbing it under the eye and letting it sit there as I will apply my foundation. For foundation, I'm using this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I'm going for a tinted moisturizer, simple base look. I'll do my brows with this Kosas Airbrow in Dark Brown. I've been using this every single day since I finished my brow pencil the Korean Nature Republic brand. This is so nice. You just kind of brush it and basically a a one and done for your brows. It's so so nice. The finish is for my hairs, it keeps them in place and it does harden them a little bit just to give you an idea, but I don't usually touch my brows after I've, you know, fixed them and they stay like that all all day with this product but I have like pretty fine hair so any way that I put it it stays so this is really nice for that sort of thing I'm going to do my lips really quick just to add like a gloss on top this is Icon Baby by Charlotte Tilbury I've been surprisingly gravitating towards this really pale color on the daily because one, Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, they last longer than most lip liners. And it's light enough that it looks more natural on the lips for an everyday. I'm going to let that sit there and dry down before I go in and apply this Buxom Gloss in the Flavor Wing Woman. <laughs> I don't think it's by flavor. It's just the color, I guess, Wing Woman. But this is so pretty. It's like a peach with gold and pink sparkles in there. Really pretty. For the lids, I'm using this Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurex. And what's interesting is you can kind of see through the bottle I've, I haven't had this for very, very long, but I think it's already drying out. And it's kind of sad because I've, I've used it how many times? Maybe less than five times. And it looks like the bottle's not full, but I love this color and it definitely gives you enough work time where you can apply it to both eyes and blend it out. So I'm applying it to both eyes and then I'm using a flat brush to kind of smooth out the edges. And it really is just such a perfect one and done. And this color particularly is so, so pretty on olive skin tone. So just a little heads up. This is a beautiful color. And I love that it lasts all day. It looks shiny and glossy all day long. This is in the color Emily. I didn't mention that before. I do like to add a liquid liner. So I'm going to do that now. I'll apply my 
mascara and then I'll be right back. This is just the Clinique that I've been using over and over again. This mascara is already on its way out to drying because I've had it for six months since the last Sephora sale and I can tell it takes a lot more work and effort to build it up because it's already basically drying out. So I'm gonna have to think about getting another mascara. I'll do my lip gloss now. This is Wing Woman by Buxom. And it matches that lip liner absolutely perfectly. This color is so pretty. I love it just on the daily. I keep these thick, these really thick glosses in my car because I apply them every time I get into my car. My lips are usually on the dry side. So I love these thick glosses because they stay on the whole trip, no matter where you're going. And usually when I'm going somewhere, it's like an hour plus drive. So these Buxom glosses are like my car road trip lip glosses. For blush, I wanted to use this brand new House Labs. This is a highlighter in rose quartz, but I am going to use it as a blush. This is what it looks like here. So it's basically the, um, it's a pink, a pink tone, which is so beautiful. And I wanted to use it as a blush. The color reminds me of the powder form of the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Veil in the pink shade, just a uh, Pinch Me Pink, that's the one that I have. And since I love powders, I love creams, but I love powders a lot as well, then I wanted like a powder form of that. And this one has a shine to it, so it comes off looking like that cream, but in powder form, which is what I absolutely love. So this is Rose Quartz by House Labs. And since I haven't powdered yet, I might go ahead and do that. I will use this Givenchy Prism Powder. This is the Cool Tone version. Something I learned in while well, I was in Sephora, it's so cool if you can go into a Sephora because the professionals there, they were like, you know, trained in makeup color theory and what suits your skin type. And I, for some reason, always gravitated towards cool toned colors, but because I have that golden undertone it's a little deceiving because I could also be using golden undertones which is a little bit more on like the warmer side that was kind of a whole nother world that opened up to me without knowing I'll just soften up the blush and when I go in with the bronzer and compare the two then we'll be able to see it more clearly what the two colors look like now, moving on, since I've finished my entire base, I will now show you, this is Nude Bronze Light. And this new one is Luminous Bronze Light. And I will swatch them and I'll put them on each side. So the Nude Bronze Light, I'm going to swatch. There's the blush. Nude Bronze Light is here. And you can see that it has a bit more of a red tone to it. And then Luminous Bronze Light, here it is. Has more of that golden neutral undertone. So I'm going to apply each starting with Nude Bronze Light on this side. And I'm going to pack it in as potent of a color as possible, just so you can see the color. 
it's a very, very buildable formula. Okay, so that is nude bronze light on this side. And then there's nothing on this side. So you can see the red coming through from this bronzer. And it's it's pretty, it's definitely pretty and I've used it for a long time. It has like that initial sunburn look, which is not usually what I go for when I want to look bronzy. I want it to be there as if I've bronzed months ago as, as opposed to just last week. So this is nice if you wanna go for that sunburn look. Moving on to this Luminous Bronze Light, I will apply it to the other side of my face with another brush. Just use this BK Beauty brush. So you can tell here, ignore the little, the line within the, the hairline here. Just have to blend it out. So you can tell right away that this one has a little bit more of a warmer tone to it, a more golden look. And if I went a little more subtly instead of going heavy handed like I did right now, it would look a lot more natural. Because when I look at kind of the edge of my neck, you can see a, more of a golden tone when it's on like olive skin. And this has a bit more of a golden tone to it. So that's just a little bit of a, a clue that I look for is like the warm neutral color that would look in comparison to what my shadows look like on my skin, like on my arm, what it would look like. It's kind of that tan that stays there even though I'm not tan, but there's a color that kind of looks, that kind of comes through and it's a little bit more on the neutral side. So if that, if that helps in picking colors, because for some strange reason, I always gravitated towards red, assuming that a tan has to look red, but instead you can work with the tones you already have, which is mine is olive and golden undertone. And so this golden one looks a lot better. This is the luminous bronze light. So I'm glad I did get to go in store, but, and, and check it out for myself in person and I swatched it on my arm but for you guys this I'm glad I get to show you in person that this one has more red to it which is very hard to see in the pan that's what tricks me all the time is the hourglass photos are very confusing because they look the same like honestly it's hard it's so hard to tell so if I can help you by swatching them on my arm and then on my face, then I would gladly do that to help you guys make a better decision about these things. So I hope that helped in making a bronzer decision. I know someone was asking before which of these classic powder bronzers to go towards. And now as I went in store to swatch them, I got a better idea. So please take that as like a helpful video. I hope you liked the new blush that I tried out and next time I'll have just like one or two other new things that I have purchased. So have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!